my psychopathic pals, Rainbow the Clown here, and it's been about three years, but it's what happens when the person you mooch off of has a lot of personal fucking problems and can't seem to stay in one spot. So as long as that hero is moving around, so am I. So, three years ago, we decided we were going to dive into the psychopathic realm of the insane clown posse comic books. We never finished them. Oops. But, better late than ever. So, with that being said, we still have eight issues of Pendulum to get to. So instead of doing one issue a video, I decided to do two so I can knock them all out every Wednesday of the month of October. <sighs> Beginning with where we left off. And just so you know, if you have no idea where we left off, go watch my other videos. That being said, <laughs> let's begin. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Kansas, as an animal is minding his own business, a redneck decides to become Peter's enemy as he runs it over, and that when our clowns decide to drive by, causing him to drop his cigar, putting his crotch on fire. Jesus, of course, is concerned, but they have more important things to worry about, especially since Twisted is hot on their trail. Our stress team decide to have some fun as they blow up the redneck's car, and we see the clowns stopping for some gas, and they are approached by some guys who question why their faces are painted. When they don't like Violent J's answer, he strikes first to get the upper hand. The group quick to jump in when their leader gets hurt. Eventually, Jay takes them all down, Shag setting one guy on fire. You know, it seems like these clowns just can't go anywhere without someone trying to fuck with them. While the biggest guy laughs at the events that unfold, Jesus gets out of the restroom in time to see what happened as the cops pull up. Meanwhile, with Twisted, they are being chased by some cops themselves, seeing as the vehicle they are in is stolen. But little do the cops know, they are about to meet their death as Monoxide backs up the hearse into the cop car. Always remember, kitties. The best way out of a ticket, it's to destroy the property of the cops. <laughs> The cops begin firing and assume they are dead and plant a gun in Monoxide's hand to set them up, which is their mistake as the duo jump into action, slaughtering everyone and killing cops left and right. The lone officer left tries to call for help, only to get hooked on Monoxide. Get it? Because he's hooked? Oh no! <laughs> Our fifth issue ends with the redneck from earlier, pointing out what the clowns did. As he's heading out, he's hit with a green beam, and the ringmaster is seen with an army of horses. While over at issue six, we see Jesus sitting in jail, contemplating his choices with the clowns. I bet you'd never hear that in your life. <laughs> clown? Reading clown? <laughs> As Jesus thinks, we see snippets of the past events before green fog begins rolling in around him. Jesus hears the rustling of carnival noises and tents flapping in the wind. Our priest then brings up that they have yet to even achieve their goal of getting to Arizona and finding Kilnor. Staring at the clowns, he asks God for help. You know, personally, I don't believe God can help in any way. Seeing, you know, as he doesn't exist. But the Dark Carnival, on the other hand, that can help in big ways. Our trio are visited by a cop 
who makes a threat before leaving while outside, twisted, is curious about the dark carnival's dark energy as it invites them disappearing to allow the carnival to do its work. Meanwhile, the cops finally see what's happening as they head outside to be greeted by a mini clown car. Our cops demand the driver get out, which they cooperate with, and we see an army of midget clowns demanding Jay and Shaggy's freedom. One cop decides to pull his gun out, which is clearly a mistake as the midget clown attack all of the cops, even going as far as stripping the girls. One of the female clowns lets the cowering cop know that the carnival doesn't want him, so he will survive this onslaught. The cop that messed with ICP earlier meets his demise. See what happens when you fuck with people? You die via short person! The army of clowns break out our heroes while Shaggy is creeped out by the midget. Jay tries to get some action before we jump to Kilnor, who is not all, all happy about these clowns being freed again, as he vows to kill them. The clowns introduce Jesus to the carnival grounds, explaining where they are and what will happen to the souls there that they come across. The ringmaster then shoots a beam at the three as the carnival disappears, and as quickly as it does twisted jump from the shadows and attack. During the scuffle, Jesus uses his cross in order to hurt them, but is quickly met with a hook to the back, and we end with Jesus crossed armed. So there we go, a little more details on what the Dark Carnival actually is. Join us next time as we learn what a 